Hello and welcome to the Wallace Farm. In today's video, it's going to be a couple different days in the past week in one video. Uh, we haven't been feeling well. We may or may not have COVID. So, um, taking it easy for the most part. And, uh, got some surprises for you in this video. So we're outside the pigs, and, um, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> Say hi, Maverick. So we do have him separated from the other pigs right now. Uh, we got a piece of hog paneling back there, uh, connected to the fence back there. And then we have a piece up here with some wood on both sides, connecting it to the shelter and to that shelter. So with this way, whenever he does come out, they will be able to see him but not get to him. And when they are in their shelter, again, they will be able to see him but not get to him. So this way, it will adjust them to their new friend. And he is supposed to be intact. So he's going to be our boar. Can't see him from here. I did deworm them today. I mixed it in with their food. I read Diatinaceous Earth gets rid of ticks. And they have some ticks, so I took some and I sprinkled it on the inside of their shelter. So this way when they go in there and roll around, it will be able to hopefully get rid of them. So Alfred's got some on them. <laughs> So this is a uh, little over a week after we got Maverick. And it's been raining here so much. He's in with the other piggies now. <laughs> so cute. I 
I ended up taking a 100 pound bag of feed and filling that up because the uh, first couple of days that Maverick was in here with them, they broke out. Like, the one hog panel is right here now, another one's down there. And I wish I would have got the first time on video because um, Bethany had broke out and then she was inside the little shelter over there with Maverick just snuggling with them. Oh, it looks like a pig pen in there, that's for sure. What you guys doing? Are you sleeping? We brought nummies. He's so cute. So I, I know it's a mess in here, but I opened up the quail hutch and got our first quail egg. Whoop whoop. I'm gonna have to look and see if there's any more. So even though um, it's been snowing a lot and everything, I'm guessing the solar panel is coming on because normally when we're here, it's still daylight out, even when I come the second time because I try to come before it gets dark. This one, as soon as I hit the stop record button, he crowed. That's a weird crow, though. Well, he's just starting to crow. Come on. Do again. Go ahead. I'm going to feed him. Come on. I gotta check uh, the run and see if there's any eggs in there. Okay, so there's at least two. I don't know about down there. There's one right here. Just a scattered around. Here. And then there's one under there. I got him. He does sound a little funny, but you gotta think about this. He just started crowing, so I'm happy now. We got three eggs and one rooster so far. So this is our egg haul today. Luann, Peggy, and three quails laid eggs. And today, <coughs> what you mean? That, that's Luann. That's Luann. Peggy's is uh, green. So anyway, uh. Did Peggy lay any? No. No? Okay. So when I came today, I'm on the other side doing some stuff, and I heard a turkey crow. And I'm looking, and I'm pretty sure this white one right here is a tom, and one of these other ones back there, because they have, uh, their necks are bigger, and they have a thing on the top of their head. Thank you, Hank. So I don't know who is crowing or gobbling, whatever you want to call it, but one of the turkeys was. So checking on the quail. So far, there's only one today, but we're only we're a little early. You see it? I don't know if it's going to focus. 
We do a Maverick. What are you doing? What are you doing, Maverick? Alfred? And there's Bethany and Corona. So he's got waddles. And I don't know why, but I think they're really cute. Goodbye. Goodbye from